Pivot tables are one of Excel's most powerful features, if not the most powerful feature, and are exceptionally useful at summarizing large volumes of data when preparing analytical reports. But, in some circumstances, maybe you need to summarize data to create an analytical report, and a pivot table is not the right tool for that application. In that situation, you should consider using Excel's Sum Ifs feature as an alternative, and in this tip, you will learn how to take advantage of Sum Ifs. In this example, a comparative year-over-year -year cash disbursements report is built using the Sum Ifs function on data stored in a table in this workbook. That report is currently pictured on screen. More specifically, the following formula resides in cell D15 and has been copied to other cells in columns D and E as appropriate. You can see the formula highlighted on the screen. Notice the use of the sum ifs function. In this case, the sum ifs function is going to sum all of the data from the debit column of the checks table when the account number from the checks table is equal to the value that's currently in cell B15, presently that's 60,200, and also when the value from the EO month column of the checks table is equal to the value in cell D6. Cell D6, of course, currently is April 30th, 2019. When both of these conditions are met, the value from the debit column of the checks table is summed along with all other values from the debit column of the checks table for which the same criteria exist. In this fashion, the sum ifs formula is used to create a cross tabular report very similar to the results generated via a pivot table. A few additional items of interest in this report include, first, to add end user interaction, cell K2 uses list validation to provide a drop down list, which allows, of course, users to select the reporting period under consideration. The formula in cell D6 uses an EO month function to head the columns with the appropriate month ending dates, which of course are referenced from the value generated in cell K2, and these dates are formatted using a custom date format. Similarly, the formula in cell E6 also uses an EO month function. The formula in cell G8, which is in the year over year percentage column, employs the if error function to prevent division by zero errors from appearing in those cases where the budget is equal to zero. Of course, this formula is copied throughout the remainder of column G. And finally, a formula has been entered into cells A8 through A42, which allows users to filter out accounts with zero balances. If the account balances for the current month and the same month in the last year are equal to zero, the formula places an X in the cell, and of course that can then be filtered prior to printing the report. While pivot tables are often the right choice for summarizing data in Excel, in some cases a formula-based approach may be more desirable. In these cases, turning to Excel's sum ifs function is often an excellent choice to generate summaries of data based on multiple conditions. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thank you for watching this short video. We certainly hope that you have found it to be useful and that we can serve you soon in one of our training programs. For more information on the training options we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.